What is up, everybody? It's January 8th, 2020. I just want to show you guys what snow is left. This is two weeks after the snowstorm. These areas are very shady spots that don't get a lot of sun, so you're seeing snow there, but we're gonna hit the main Big Bear Boulevard and go over towards the village and just come back through the village just so you guys can get a good sense of the main part of town and what's going on. Sorry about the late video. I was gonna do it earlier today. I just got so inundated with work but I wanna make sure I get it taken care of for you guys so you guys can see. I'm getting a ton of questions about how much snow remains up here right now and is it worth worth cruising up and stuff and yeah it's always worth coming up you guys it, it really is you can have great you can create great memories here without having to have uh, snow everywhere but i know that's what this place is is known for so i get it and trust me i want the snow just as much as you guys i promise you but yeah town's still a little bit packed like yeah i thought it was going to die down a little bit but i guess i'm wrong so yeah but anyway, let's just uh, pause this right now until we get going. We're stuck at this light. Anyway, hope you guys are good. <laughs> Cheers for a minute. All right, you guys. So we're back on right now. I just made the left out of there. I was trying to figure out how to get my music to work while my phone is on Bluetooth, but it's not working, my friend. I think I might have some, like, gutter. Sorry about that. So yeah, you guys, it's January 8th, 2021. Sorry, I think I said 2020 earlier, 2021. Um, it's 53 degrees and it's it's, it's, it's getting nighttime, right? it's late. Um, next week, you guys, there's like three days in a row where it's, it's gonna be in the low 60s. Can you believe that? Low 60s and it's not gonna get down to freezing at night. So for those of you who wanna come play in the snow, there's, there's no snow in the forecast, none on the horizon, but I, I'd be willing to bet a million dollars we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get a few more storms, but there's just nothing in the next few weeks, at least like nothing. <laughs> so come up here in the next like day or two guys. Like there's like no, there's like hardly any snow left anywhere. I mean, look at this. I mean, there's, there might be a couple little spots where you can do a, like a, like, I don't know, in a neighborhood somewhere like up close to the resorts where it's, it's uh, kind of rising in altitude a little bit. You, you'll get a little bit more snow, but unfortunately, you guys, this is just, I don't want your kids playing in like this stuff. This is just dirt, this is filthy. All this brown snow on the side is just filthy. Um, but you, you might be able to find some spots. I've seen a lot of police officers um, ticketing people because people are parking, literally like right in front of signs that say no parking anytime, and they're about 50 feet apart just and constantly going and like literally parking right in front of it and it's like I feel so bad because I just you know I wish I could like tell them hurry move your car like real quick because you will get ticketed but I guess if you park right in front of a sign lit like literally like you can't miss it um then I guess you got what's coming to you <laughs> you know what I'm saying but but still if you guys see other people parking where it says no parking anytime I promise you that doesn't mean that it's okay because I got a ticket up here a long, long time ago because I did that. I thought because everyone else was parking there that it was fine because there were a ton of people there. But then when I got done sledding, came back down and like every car had a ticket on it. Couldn't believe it. But yeah, guys. So just please, uh, just be very careful up here. I, you know, you already get charged a lot for everything up here, over overcharged. I don't, I don't want you guys to have to pay a ticket. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like, if you ever have to, look at it as if you're helping our town out um, just to try and stay positive, even in a bad situation. But I just don't want anything to happen to you guys in terms of having to pay a fine or something stupid. But yeah, guys, this is pathetic. Look at this. No snow, man. Like, what's going on? I mean, yes, there's snow, but look. That's just... That part is just all ice, and it's just in a very shady, in terms of the sun, shade shady spot but yeah yeah this weekend I'm doing another video for my other YouTube channel the luxury hotel and resort travel I'm staying at the Ritz Carlton you guys can you believe that oh my gosh I'm so excited so those of you who haven't checked out my other channel man I'd be super honored I would be super honored I just want you guys to subscribe to it no one else because you guys are the nicest people ever so i know like i'm not gonna get any or really mean comments but um yes i know i'm a wuss 
Oh, he's whining about mean comments. Oh, oh poor little baby. No, it's true. I'm a poor little baby. I'm a poor little baby. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, we're going to have to shut this off because these people pushed the button. They pushed the button at the crosswalk. How dare they? <laughs> All right. I'm going to shut this off because, look, we're going to have to wait until this turns red. And then for the 35 seconds it takes for them to walk across and this and that. So I'm going to pause it. I allows you. I think we're about to turn green. Never mind. These people are walking now. So let me stop it. All right. Here we go. Let's do this, folks. And, yeah, as I said, I'm just going to do kind of a short little drive today just so you guys can get a sense in the main parts of town where you're going to be hanging out at for the most part or just cruising through those of you who got two-wheel drive who were a little bit worried and i was saying for the first few days after the storm some of the side streets are still wrecked the ones that don't get a lot of sunlight um i think you're going to be for the most part okay but keep in mind though there 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 still are a lot of little steep little streets that absolutely don't get much sun and uh even with all these warm temps this is it's melting and then freezing at night melting and then freezing at night not fully melting so it just turns into a brick of ice so just be very very careful but i think you guys will be totally fine i think you'll be totally safe um if i had any concerns i would not send you guys without being honest and that's a big thing about this channel is that you guys can see with your own eyes you don't have to you know uh try to interpret what the weather forecasters mean etc etc you can see with your own eyes and that makes me very happy to be able to do that for you guys. But yeah, this is, I mean, this is ridiculous, guys. And these piles of snow you see on the sides of the road and stuff, that's just from the snow plows. So that's just piling up, piling up, piling up, and it takes it longer to melt because they just pile it, pile it, pile it. Come on. <sighs> that's a really nice jacket she has. I really like that jacket. I really like that jacket. It reminds me of the movie, uh, one of the scary movies. <laughs> I love the Waynes brothers, man. They're, they're just amazing. I grew up on like Damon Waynes, um, Keenan Ivory Waynes, like uh, In Living Color and stuff. That's just, that, that was the show. I thought it was way better than Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live it was really funny back in the day, but it's just such a pretentious show now. <laughs> Not even funny, really. But you got to have funny people to make it funny. I wish In Living Color would come back, though. And anyways, guys, check it out. So I'm going to be staying here soon because I found out I can from one of our buddies here. We're going to stay there. And then we're also going to stay here very soon. And on the week of the 25th up here, you guys, I'm renting a whole bed and breakfast for myself. It's seven bedrooms. Um, and those of you who are going to be cruising up here, man, you're welcome to come hang out. Um, my friend runs this place, so obviously I'm getting a killer deal, but just so you know, this place is $2,200 per night, and I'm staying for five nights. It's all me, okay? Seven bedrooms, it's like 8,000 square feet. Um, every bedroom in the house is bigger than my house. So those of you who are going to be here, don't hesitate to hit me up, because I would love to treat you guys and uh, just have a good time, get, get to meet some of you. I'll be working a lot of the time, but it'll be okay. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. So yeah, anyway, we just came through here now. It's just lack of snow, lack of snow. See, these are just piles from the snow plows. Oh my gosh, look at this traffic is just killing me now. Anyway, I, th I might follow them. All right, we're going to shut this off right now. Wow. It really is pretty, guys. But there's snowmen everywhere. Or, look at that big guy. Look, right out here. It's coming into the screen right now. I don't think you, you'll be able to see it. But look at that guy. Maybe zoom in on that, you guys. Unbelievable. So much fun, you guys. I'm so glad so many people got to come up here and, and create some amazing memories with their kids. Like, that makes me so happy, you guys. That just, it just warms my heart, man. Because I don't have any kids, so I'm living vicariously through you guys. And I desperately want kids. Trust me, and I know it's going to be super fun making them, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's, it's just rough. I desperately want kids. I want my own children. Obviously, like if I find a, a woman who I fall in love with, like, and if, if she has kids, I'll treat them just like they're, they're my own children, of course, but I want my own children. 
And most of my life I've been in relationships with women with children and it, it just, just makes me want them even more. And now that I'm responsible enough to, to be able to support a child, if, if I had to, um, it would be great, but I'm not getting any younger. It just kind of sucks, but anyway, enough about me again. Gosh, I'm so selfish talking about me all the time. Who the heck do I think I am? Just punch me right in the face. But anyway, okay, that's the golf course. I got uh, a couple people I know who live right over there. And this is the old zoo, but we're coming up to Bear Mountain right now. Once we make this little turn on the right. But yeah, this is basically one of the main drives that you guys would take. Um, not necessarily this way to get to Bear. You'd probably be going the other side. However, you'll be good. As you can see, the roads are fine. The roads are good. So you have nothing to worry about. And then uh, let's take a look at Bear. I love it, man. So amazing. Such a good place to be. Look at that. Look at that. What's up, Bear? Clubview, headed back to Moon Ridge Road. Clubview is the main drag to get to uh, Bear Mountain. In this neighborhood, since we're a lot closer to the mountain, hardly any sun on this street during the day, you see a bunch of snow still up here. But even just this couple hundred feet higher up and uh, half a mile away, it's, it's night and day difference. I could go a mile out further this direction that we are going and we wouldn't find any snow. Because I can go to like uh, where like Stanfield Cutoff is, or like those areas. That's probably about two miles away, but still, there's like uh, in that big, uh, what's it called, like gully area. There will be nothing in there, nothing. It'll be like as if there's there was no snow. The further we go this way, the less snow we will come into. But anyway, yeah, guys, this is just a beautiful place, man. And then if you take this, like if, if I made a U-turn right now for the really good sledding spot, you guys, just make a U-turn right here, okay? And go back and instead of turning left where I turned right, like to head towards Bear Mountain, stay on club view and stay to the right and go up to the very top. It's only about another few hundred yards past that, maybe a quarter mile, a half mile maybe. Um, at the most but i'm sure it's about a quarter mile and it just goes up to the to the top right there and then it, it kind of dead ends at an off-roading area called two and ten so you guys will be good there um i've tried to help you guys out a lot with with uh places to go sledding but unfortunately uh the timing for a lot of you has been like in the past few days and i, I didn't want to send you guys to like any spots that i'm not 100 percent sure but i know for sure that spot that i was talking about if you just make a left like Make a U-turn right here and go back that way, and then just go all the way up Club View and make a right-hand turn, or just stay to the right. It's, um, so when you get to Gold Mine, Gold Mine is the street that cuts in between Bear Mountain and the golf course parking lot. So you don't want to turn on Gold Mine; just stay on Club View and go all the way up to the top. From the start of Club View, right there, it's probably I would say hmm, a mile and a quarter to get to the top so anyway guys this is what we got going i'm really sorry there's not more snow but i will be getting back to you guys uh yeah i think this is gonna be the last video honestly until we get some more snow because by this time next week this, this stuff's gonna be gone pretty much so but the ski resorts guys do not trip on that the ski resorts will be totally fine they'll be totally fine because they make snow basically every night so when we get you know our two nights above freezing they're not going to make snow but when it comes to other uh, all these other nights they will be making snow so it'll be like you got a fresh snowstorm you'll be good to go but snowmen and sledding yeah the only way you're going to be able to sled you guys is if you go to uh 
like one of the paid sled parks. But anyway, you guys, gosh, it looks like a, it's like Freddy Krueger's house right there. Anyway, I love you guys a lot. January 8th, 2021, uh, 5 o'clock p.m., and it's 37 degrees. Wow, it cooled off quickly, huh? Peace out, guys. Cheers, and be safe if you come up here, please.